What's up guys, greetings from Malibu, California. Well, technically I'm in Topanga, California right now. That's where my Airbnb is, here behind me. Uh, Topanga is on the outskirts of Malibu and it's where like the canyons are and the mountains, a lot of hiking. Um, and it's a bit farther out from Malibu and I purposely stayed here because it's nice and calm and you can really be in nature. I actually have a view right now outside my window here of these huge mountains. So it's very nice and peaceful, but coming here, I knew I was gonna have to make a little gay dating analysis video of Malibu since that's where I've been spending the last few days. You know, during the day, I've been hopping from beach to beach, um, driving along PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, and I have some thoughts for you guys. So for those of you who watched my last video, Gay Dating in San Diego Part 2, uh, because I had a Gay Dating in San Diego original video two years ago when I spent two weeks in San Diego, then this video will be pretty similar to Sandy, to the San Diego video that I just put out. Um, in that, I came here, I think probably as a lot of gay men do, having a fantasy of like meeting a guy on the beach, you know, and like, meeting a surfer guy. I will say, driving around here, you do, or even just going to the beaches, you see some pretty hot guys. <laughs> a lot of guys that look like Denise Richards' husband, and I bring this up because I know that she lives in Malibu with her husband, um, but guys that are like really fit and like rugged and they surf all the time. So much like my time in San Diego this past week, you know, I was like, okay, let's see if these guys are on the apps. Like, let's see which one of these guys is actually, you know, attracted to guys. And it was the same bummer as San Diego where I'm like, where are these guys? They're not on Tinder. I will say there are a handful on apps like Grindr and, you know, the more sort of hookup oriented or, or casual oriented apps, you know, Jack, Scrub, all those kinds. Um, but it's a limited stock. The other interesting thing about Malibu, and this is part of the charm of Malibu and Topanga, everything is so stretched out. Everything is so far out. You have to drive quite a bit of distance to get from point A to point B. I mean, just today I went to a beach that is a well-known beach. It's not like, you know, super, super far out. And then when I got back into the car um, and, you know, put it into, put my Airbnb into Google Maps, it said 40 minutes away. And I was like, it's gonna take 40 minutes? Like it took that long to, to, to get here? You have to get used to that here. So that effect, of course, is seen on these apps. You know, you open up Grindr and just that original grid without any filters or anything special, you see guys that are miles and miles away. So to come here for like serenity and peace and to be with nature, that's great. For connecting with people, not so great. So I'm leaving Malibu feeling like being gay here must not be ideal or fun. Um, I don't know how you could possibly be a part of like a gay community here because just in general, it seems harder to meet people here. So to meet gay people specifically and gay guys that you're interested in and who are interested back in you seems like a lot of, uh, like it would take a lot of work. And it's interesting because as always, these apps are supposed to facilitate the process, but I haven't really had any noteworthy uh, interactions on the apps the past few days. If anything, the only guys I've talked to were like 10 miles away back in Los Angeles. But I am thinking that maybe it's a similar thing to San Diego, where the culture here, the beach culture, the sort of hippie, new age kind of vibe that exists here, I don't know that that is compatible with you know, the, the phenomenon of dating apps. Like, I just don't think that the kind of people who thrive here would want to spend their time, you know, cooped up inside, swiping away. So I do wonder how much of that has to do with, with this, and then how much of it is there just aren't that many gay people here, or the sexy guys that I see who are interested in guys are like down low or, you know, are openly gay. I feel like we now live in this era where if you're openly gay, it's kind of an expectation that you use these apps, at least one of them at some point when you're open to dating, because otherwise it's like, where are you gonna meet guys, especially right now during a pandemic? Like you can't you can't just go to any bar, but even that, I feel like bars are, are never like an amazing place to meet people. That being said, if my theory is accurate, that the culture here just doesn't really lend itself to you know, the dating app culture. Um, 
I could understand that here more than ever because I spent a weekend here when I lived in Los Angeles last year and I intentionally kind of disconnected from the world. I mean, I couldn't even really help it because I didn't have service. In my Airbnb, I was, I stayed in Topanga that time as well. Um, and there's really terrible service around here, which is a nice problem to have when you just want to have like a getaway weekend, you know, with just yourself um, and, and just be with nature and, and not be, you know, on your computer the whole time or on your phone. And I had honestly one of the best weekends ever in my life when I had that weekend in Malibu because I, I felt so connected to, to nature and I felt so like peaceful and and just like my 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 mood my energy was in the right place and so it's ironic because I came here again right kind of hoping to feel that again at the same time though I was religiously kind of using these apps to see if I could connect with anybody while I'm here I think part of that is just from COVID just having been isolated for so long there's that interest again in me of like meeting somebody while traveling and so the irony is that in trying to connect with somebody here and in trying to feel at the same time that sort of borderline like spiritual experience that I had here last year on my own and actually putting effort into trying to connect with guys while I'm here visiting I ended up feeling more disconnected because of you know the usual sort of frustrations that come with these apps and guys flake and stop responding um, and putting energy towards that that energy could have been used to fully sort of embrace the nature that I'm around and I didn't do that as much as I had the last time so that's definitely like a lesson I'm walking away with that ironically in trying to connect further specifically in this case with people with with men I ended up feeling more disconnected from my environment um, so I, th I think for me the, the lesson here is when you come to a place like this that is all about nature, you have to disconnect from the things that are not related to that. Unless your goal is something different, but ideally when you're in a place like Malibu, you should really, I think, be here to embrace the nature and the beaches and the peace that comes with that um, and embrace the isolation that comes with that. And I think in trying to almost like resist the isolation that comes with that, I didn't enjoy myself as much as I had coming here for an innocent weekend last year when I wasn't paying attention to like guys on, on these apps. If any of you are very familiar with Malibu and this area, I would love to hear your feedback um, and what your experience has been like here.